Oli Matthews here, creator of the Revitalization Blueprint. Health optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Before I dive into this video, I want to tell you about something. I've spoken to a few people recently and it's been the upfront cost while they haven't gone on board with coaching. Now I've got something for you. I don't give a money back guarantee. Provided you fit the level of client I work with when it comes to being a successful entrepreneur and we click when we have our revitalization call, I'll actually give you a money forward guarantee. We won't start payments until after the first month. So you've got nothing to lose. I start getting you the results. You start getting more money in, more energy, more focus, more complete vitality throughout the day. Then then you know it's worthwhile. But today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about why I actually failed with my own health when I started in this entrepreneurial world. When I started essentially coaching myself in my own health, which I do with clients all around the world, keeping them accountable, keeping them optimized, keeping them on point. And there are three things that jumped out. The first one was that I failed to look at myself. And all of these things are things that I've seen entrepreneurs fall into the mistake of doing all over the place. So the first one, failing to look at myself. I would see so many different nutrition strategies. I've tried so many different nutritional strategies. Keto. Intermittent fasting, backloading, high carb, high protein, low fat, all these different things. Warrior diet, so many different things, different detoxes and all this stuff. But I didn't look into what I actually liked. I would fall for these buzzwords, try to follow. It wasn't sustainable for my needs, for my likes, for my desires, for the training that I liked, for any of the things that came into my world. That meant I failed. I didn't look at myself and my goals, my why. What is it costing me not to be at my destination where I want to be right now in my business, in my family, my relationships, my health? Am I stressed? All these things were impacting what plan I needed to make for myself to be sustainable. And I didn't look at the ways that I had to stay disciplined. And what did I try before? In fact, I was scared of getting back into shape when I jumped into the entrepreneurial world because when I used to bodybuild, it was so, so disciplined, so restrictive. So much so it gave me an eating disorder, which I don't want any of my clients to get. I don't want my clients to have to go out and count every single piece of item that they put into their mouth or just actually go out with chicken and broccoli and have such a boring nutrition plan. No, I want sustainability. I know that entrepreneurs travel. I know you're going to be having a busy schedule. I need to know that you're able to go to restaurants, go to business meetings and thrive. I wasn't doing that with my own work. And I had to be aware of that first. The second thing, okay, I was a little bit younger, but I did not respect my own sleep. Didn't look at my circadian rhythm and what my body is actually designed to be doing when it goes to sleep, when it wakes up. Didn't respect this. I was hustling all the time, I was sprinting all the time and I would get by on three, four, five hours worth of sleep. And now, now sleep, Sleep is non-negotiable to me. Seven, eight hours. It makes me more awake during the times that I am awake. It's gonna impact my mo emotional intelligence, my mental intelligence, my leadership skills, my bottom line when it comes to revenue. Gonna impact my relationships. Even things like my persona and my charisma. All impacted by the amount of sleep I have every day all night, depending on how you want to put it. Also, deprivation with your sleep. It's actually linked to higher body fat percentage. 
which is actually linked to lower immune function, which means you're going to get sick more often. You're going to have more brain fog, less focus and less ability to develop energy, which essentially means you are leaving money on the table by not getting the impact on your body by allowing it to recover fully. On top of that, you've got your hunger hormones, shall we say, your leptin and your ghrelin. Leptin levels, which basically tells you you're full, decrease. Ghrelin levels, which tells you you're hungry, increase when you are sleep deprived. That leads to binging out. That leads to emotional eating, afternoon eating that you shouldn't even have on your plan potentially. It leads you eating those foods at the end of the snack hours that you wouldn't have if you respected yourself enough to get some sleep when your body needs it. And the third thing was that I actually failed to set small goals. I looked at this big number, this 40 pounds that I wanted to drop. I didn't link it with anything that I was leaving on the table money-wise. didn't link it with small goals that maybe I should drop five pounds or just get to the gym three times a week or just get a certain amount of cardio in or just eat healthy for a certain amount of days and ticking them off the calendar, putting a big X or a big tick in the box to say I'd done it creating that chain effect and those small goals I was failing to get them on there and I was failing to get accountable for them I was too busy and I had too many decisions to make because I wanted to focus on my clients and I didn't have the brain function the mental side of things to actually focus on my clients and get that work done too many decisions what a lot of people would call decision fatigue so I got accountable. I got someone to actually tell me to do the plan that I had designed. Gave them some money to tell me to be accountable for my own plan. Got my sleep on point. And that plan was designed specifically. Specifically for me, my needs, my desires and my goals. If that's something you want to talk about, as I mentioned at the start, let's hop on a revitalization call right now. Ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com. Send me an email, DM me, drop a comment, however you want to get in touch, get in touch. You're not going to lose anything. After 30 days, you take the first payment. I look forward to speaking to you.